become bold through prayer a daily devotional from pastor joseph prasanna kumar greetings to you in the gracious name of our lord and savior jesus christ as we look at people around us today most of them are gripped by fear fear of health job financial position insecurity in life timidity in fact there could be many reasons that drive up fear into a person however for those of us who know the lord we have a very powerful weapon to fight the fears and that weapon is prayer in today's devotion we will read about how a person can become bold through prayer just as oxygen is vital for a person to live for a christian to live and survive spiritually prayer is equally important at the same time the bible also warns us that living without prayer is living in sin prophet samuel said this when he was speaking to god 1 samuel chapter 12 and verse 23 reads i will not commit sin by ending my prayers acts chapter 1 and verse 14 those these all with one mind were continually devoting themselves to prayer along with the women and mary the mother of jesus and with his brothers this incident in acts is just after the ascension of jesus none of them are seen to be disheartened or disappointed they had in fact they had good reasons to be disappointed if they wanted to jesus was no longer with them in person the miracles they had experienced had stopped the comfort of being around jesus who could have calmed the storms is no more but what we see is that they took on an attitude of prayer This prayer shook the world and changed the course of the church as we know today. Let us spend a few moments to take the example of Peter and see how he became strengthened and emboldened through prayer. Through the gospels we get the picture of Peter to be a very emotional, hasty, uneducated and a timid person who kept away from uncomfortable situations. After the prayer with the others in verse 14 of Acts chapter 1 we read in the very next verse At this time Peter stood up in the midst of the brethren a gathering of about 120 persons was there together and said It would have been just enough to say Peter said these words but considering the past of Peter it makes it crucial for us to have a link to the topic for today becoming bold through prayer not just standing up but Peter is seen quoting a text from the Old Testament with confidence Acts chapter 1 and verse 16 reads and this is where Peter is quoting from Old Testament brother brethren the scripture had to be fulfilled which the holy spirit foretold by the mouth of David concerning Judas who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus Peter is talking about the fulfillment of a prophecy from the Old Testament for a person with a background such as what Peter had this is a remarkable change what was the catalyst the answer is prayer a similar event is recorded in acts chapter 2 and verse 14 but peter taking his stand with the 11 raised his voice and declared to them men of judea and all you who live in jerusalem let this be known to you and give heed to my words yet another instance where we read about peter being emboldened through prayer the key difference in both the occasions is the audience In Acts chapter 1 and verse 15 Peter was addressing about 120 people in the room. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 14 Peter is addressing the men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem an exponential increase in the audience requiring an exponential effort if it were human efforts. But we know the reason prayer made Peter bold. Not only that but as we read through the passage we read that Peter is calling people to repentance by calling on the name of the Lord in verse 21. Secondly Peter is also seen chiding the people saying that they did not recognize Jesus as the Messiah but handed him over to be crucified. Peter also goes on to preach the message of salvation death and resurrection verses 1 to verse 24. from this point in time when peter was addressing people let us go back a few days in history that is when peter denied christ 
Peter ran away and did not want to be associated with Christ. From such a personality, Peter was transformed to a person where he is bold enough to talk to people about their wrongdoings and quote, quote the Old Testament. Dearly beloved, see the transformation in the life of Peter. All this could be possible only through prayer. In your life and mine too, prayer can make the difference and be the difference. Prayer can make us bold. Prayer can strengthen us. Prayer can make us stand before people and speak with confidence. What a remarkable power in prayer. Today, I urge you that you spend time in prayer. And if you are already spending time in prayer, increase your prayer time even more. My, pr- my prayers and wish will be that each of you will be blessed with the spirit of prayer and intercession to pray for others and for yourselves. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the brothers and sisters that are listening to this message right now. We thank you, Lord, that you teach us great truths through your word, the Holy Bible. Today we thank you that you have taught us from the life of Peter about the difference that prayer can make in one's life. Father, you know very well what each brother and sister is going through and what they have in need of. May they turn to you and look up to you in prayer. And Father, we pray that from the abundance of grace which is with you, you will satisfy their every need and you will embolden them today and in the days to come to the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.